Getting back to Gandhi, one of our sons is eager to learn just when he will be able to fly properly and decides to make a little test. It's a warm summer's day and the top is down so that Gandhi can survey the surroundings as he rides in state on the back seat. He seems ready for any new experience. With a strategy in mind, he selects the gravel road that runs between two ponds to see how well Gandhi can keep up with a departing car. Gandhi revs up his engines a little in anticipation, but then he must get underway or he's going to be left behind. A most unwelcome experience for him. The schooling continues and they go back for still another test run. Gandhi, of course, is willing and surveys the takeoff area calmly. An old bullfrog observes the scene as Gandhi covers himself with glory on this takeoff attempt. He even elects to fly a little faster than the little red car, but lands in the water next to the road in a dead heat. Then we're off for yet a new adventure with Gandhi, who as usual observes everything from the back seat. They turn in at the sign of the Minuteman Airport. And with the manager's permission, the gate is swung open to admit one student flyer who uses no precious gasoline to take off. These shiny birds who rest with their wings extended are of considerable interest to our Gandhi. He gets a closer look at their insignia and featherless tails and has a chance to survey the whole airport from this vantage point. Their wings seem a little stiff and hard and small wonder if they are foolish enough not to fold them up to keep their bodies warm. They're quite noisy too while moving along the ground. Having inspected the facilities somewhat superficially, Gandhi is requested to observe pilot regulations which are new and the windsock before takeoff. Further down the runway, he is warned of intersection departures before being deposited unceremoniously onto the tarmac runway. I'm documenting this historic flight on film and never in all my experience with wildlife photography have my flying subjects ever been so close that I wish that they would be a little further away. Young Gandhi is taking no chances of being abandoned in this strange new place where the ground under him is so smooth and all one color. However, if the mid-stripes painted on the runway are a guide, he'd just as soon fly right on the beam. 